Now it's time to learn what a VM or virtual machine is. The short answer is that a virtual machine is a software computer or a computer within a computer. It's an entire computer that is stored on a physical hard drive. You can use a VM just like you would any other computer or server. You can power it on, install any operating system, you can browse the web, install server applications, you can install any other programs, you can connect it to internal, internal networks, etc. You may ask why we would want to use a virtual machine instead of a physical server or a physical machine. Well, since a VM is stored on the hard disk drive of a physical server or a computer, we can copy, duplicate, delete, or move the VM at any time, meaning they are extremely portable and can be sent across the internet if need be. So if you need to transport a virtual server from Washington DC to Hawaii, this is no longer a time or cost issue. Take a scenario where you need to repeatedly create several servers to perform a service, whether that's a file print server or a domain controller or whatever that service may be. And say you have to create these servers for various customer networks every single week. You can utilize a virtual machine to make this task much faster by creating a single VM and installing the operating system, all the required operating system updates and third party updates, any necessary software, and you can consider this your baseline virtual machine. Now, every time you need to create or deploy a new server, you simply clone your baseline virtual machine with a new name, make any required tweaks to the VM, and you're ready to go. No more physically assembling a server and completing repetitive steps such as installing the operating system again, installing the updates again, the software again, and boxing and shipping for every new server instance that you need to create. Keep in mind that cloning a virtual machine is as simple as right click and selecting clone. Now there are two common terms that you must know in order to successfully work with virtual machines, hosts and guests. The host is a computer that the virtual machine is installed on. The guest is the VM that runs on the host. A host can run several guest VMs while a guest VM generally only operates on a single host computer. And that's of course assuming that there are not several hosts clustered together to operate all your VMs. Now in this example, we have a single host that is running three guest VMs. You can run as many VMs on the host as long as that host has the physical resources to spare for each VM, meaning that you cannot create a VM that has more RAM or more processing power than your host computer. Generally, a VM will only have a fraction of the total storage capacity and processing power that its host computer has. For this reason, the host computer is usually a very powerful computer that is designed to run several VMs at once. Since some of you will be running these VMs at home on your personal computer, you may need to keep some of the VMs powered off while others are turned on to help keep the combined VMs processing power under that of your host computer. So now you know what a virtual machine or VM is and you know what a host and guest is. That's it for this lecture and I'll see you in the next one.